Hey guys, Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project, and I'm in my car with the Autel OBD2 scanner from MaxiLink. That's the ML529, and I'm doing a diagnostics on my car. It's always been throwing a code, and I've always wondered what that was. And pretty cool. So how this works, you plug this thing in, you fasten up the the plug in the top of the device. You plug it into your OBD2 output port, and the device immediately powers up. Now what's cool, and this is so neat, it not only does it tell you the what codes, what failed, it tells you PO128, and there's four stored codes, and it says the coolant thermostat temperature is below thermostat regulating temperature. Uh, the coolant thermostat. Coolant temperature is below regular um, or thermostat regular. Okay, basically, I had a feeling that was bad, and it's all it says here the price ten dollars generic part. So it even tells you the price. That is really cool. I'm gonna hit the button here right to see the next code, and it's a PO442, and it tells you right what it is. The evaporative emission system leak detected. It says small leak. And then again, it throws you the price, $10, generic. Really simple fixes on this. I wouldn't have known, I just knew there was an engine light on. And then here, PO449, evaporative emission system vent, valve, and solenoid circuit. And again, it says $10 price. And that's code 3 out of 4. And here, 4 out of 4, evaporative emission system leak detected. Um, PO442, I think that's the same code we saw a minute ago. Um, yes, I don't know why it's throwing that twice, but we can go back to the first one, which I, that's cool because I, I knew that the engine wasn't running at the right temperature, and I had a feeling that the thermostat was fried, and sure enough, it actually is throwing a code. So that's cool. It confirms what I knew. I'm really happy with that. This is so cool, and I'm going to go right out and get myself a thermostat and go ahead and replace that. But that it shows the prices on here, I didn't even expect that. That's really neat. I like that fact. So I'll be able to now replace these these devices. And then with this computer, I'll be able to clear the codes and see what comes up after that. So really amazing. There's also all kinds of other functions we're going to be checking out in the next days. So stay tuned for some exciting stuff about the MaxiLink OBD2 scanner. Really good computer. Well guys, I am very pleased with my Autel MaxiLink. This is the ML529 OBD2 scanner. This thing has saved me thousands of dollars in a year already. Now, I um, have used this to check the codes of my car, replace the thermostat, and a purge valve which now has increased my gas mileage here in this car by 30 percent I didn't expect that much gain well I sort of did only because the there was a code on the dash there was a computer code and my gas mileage was 30 percent less than what the previous owners had said they were getting so I figured maybe that was it but I couldn't imagine that a $30 part would change our cost of driving this car by about um, about $12 per fill-up, 30%. We were spending a lot more on gas. So a good 60 to $80 a month we're saving now. So if you go and buy this computer, you could actually save in your first month on gas mileage or reduce cost on repairing your car. Not only that, I didn't have to pay a mechanic. So this little guy here is really helping us out already. Um, I love it. It's rugged. It works. It does everything it needs. And... Uh, has saved us a ton of money 
So I highly recommend it. I love the functionality. I love how easy it is to work. The very long cable, you could work with it outside your car. Nice carrying case. Um, what more can I say? Um, I'll put the links down below in the video description and in the comments. And go ahead and get your Autel MaxiLink ML529 OBD2 scanner. I also reset the codes with this. I was able to reset the computer myself, which in some places, that's a $20 bill right there going to the mechanic. So, um, actually, mechanics charged me $34 one day to tell me nothing. So, um, really good. It can save you a lot of money. And it certainly saved us a lot. We just went on a long trip, and it saved us $50 on this trip. So just by running this machine, this little computer, and putting in the part that it told me I needed. Uh, it'll tell you an idea of what parts you need. It, well, on the thermostat, it told me exactly what I needed. And on the um, purge valve, I had an idea. I had to go and research. There were two codes being thrown by the computer. And I found out, generally, the two can be the very same problem. Because with the purge valve, it, if it's leaking, you're going to have an a, um, emission system leak. As well as the bad valve and reduce gas mileage. So there it is guys, go ahead and grab one, check out the links. It's Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project, very pleased with another fine product here.